All right, guys, I get requested a lot on how to overclock my i7 5820K. And guys, uh, overclocking the i7 5820K is not as easy. Well, it's very easy, but it's not simple, okay? Like the other overclock videos that I have done, I've been holding myself from, you know, doing an overclock on this chip for my YouTube channel. And the main reason is because of the CPU strap and the base clock change so now guys uh, go ahead and go to your bias and you're going to be prompted to the easy mode or you're going to be prompted to the advanced mode you can set that up in here let me go ahead and change that uh, before you do the overclock um, go ahead and go go back to the easy mode and let's go ahead and take the default settings click ok all right, so now you got the default settings of the motherboard of the BIOS. And after that, guys, let's go ahead and go to advanced settings. If you don't want to be prompted into that, into the easy mode, you can change that here. Uh, just come over here and change it. Advanced mode. And after that, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the overclock. So we come over here to AI tweaker here, guys. And as you can see right here, my i7 5820k it's running at 3.6 um, gigahertz 30, 3600 megahertz my ram uh, it's the Corsair dominator platinum uh, 16 gigabytes at 3000 megahertz okay but right here guys as you can see uh, the bias and the base clock for it it runs at 2133 which we don't want that we want our 3000 we want what we paid for so anyway guys, so what I normally do here is I come over here to CPU core ratio and I change that to sync all cores. I hope that you can see that clear. See that? CPU ratio sync all cores so you can you can change that. And now as you can see here guys, I'm going to aim for 4500 or yeah, 4.5 gigahertz. Uh, probably you can hit higher than that. Probably you can hit 4.6, 4.7, 4.4. My luck was 4.5. So what I do here is I type in on the number pad 45. And take a look up here, the change that it's going to do. See? 4,500. All right, right after that, guys. I go ahead and I go down to voltage. I change that from disable to enable. And this right here, guys, is manual mode. I go ahead and change that to, let's say, I, 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 I have always been able to hit um, 1.275. And I click enter. So my voltage is going to be at 1.275, almost 1 1.3. And right after that, guys, what I go ahead and do most of the time, just to make sure that my overclock is well. This right here, guys, is going to multiply by the base clock. And it's not showing it here. But this right here is going to multiply by the, oh, see, you, you can see it right here. Base clock, 100 megahertz, okay? See, the multiplier before was 33, now we change it to 45. So 45 by 100 is going to be 4,500 megahertz. So what I normally do is I click F10. And right here, guys, you can see, make sure you got your settings right and whatnot. You can see that I changed the core ratio from auto, I mean, from yeah, from auto to single cores. And you can see this here. Uh, you can see the voltage and I change also the, I also change the EC mode. So I go ahead and boot into Windows. I didn't mess around with the XMP profile yet because I want to make sure that my overclock is stable. All right, so I'm booting up, so that's a plus. If you get stuck on BD, that means that your overclock from 4.5 or 4.6 is not, it's, it didn't pass. So you might want to dial it back or put more voltage or put lower voltage or probably 4.5 or the number that you aim for wasn't 
the one for your uh, CPU. What I do here, guys, I, I put in my password. Okay, guys, and once I'm here, I go ahead and run my stability test. You can go ahead and run yours. I have done this video many times. I know my overclock as well, but you can run ADA64. All right, guys, well, after doing our stress test and make sure that we passed, let's go back to the bias. And you're going to be prompted in here if you're using the same motherboard. And let's go ahead and go to AI Tweaker. And right here, guys, as you can see, my RAM frequency is set to 2133, but I paid for 3000. Now, this is something that has always bothered me. Why they advertise 3000 and they give me less than that? I guess it's for the joy of doing overclock. So what I do now, guys, and I want you to watch the changes that it's going to do. My base clock frequency is going to change from 100 to 125. Uh, I want you to take a look in here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on XMP. Now this problem, this issue here, only happens with X99 platform. Uh, you see this right here, guys. My CPU strap is at 125 megahertz, and my base clock frequency is at 125 as well. And it also change. See, that's my RAM right here. 3,000 megahertz. My XMP profile is only giving me one profile. Okay, and it also change my multiplier from 45. 229 see that and now i'm not getting my 4500 i'm getting 3625 which is bullshit but let's go ahead and change that to let's say what number was it i did some calculations here guys and i changed that to 36 and i'm back to 4500 okay and you want to make sure that you have your DRAM frequency here, guys. Now, this right here is doing it uh, with the XMP profile. And there are a lot of YouTube videos out there, guys, uh, of people, big YouTubers, showing you how to do the overclock, which is, you know, come over here, turn on what we did previous, and then change your multiplier, and you're good to go. But they don't talk to you guys about the change of the base clock. They don't talk to you guys about the CPU strap. Not one video out there. Well, besides Linus, I noticed that it changed my CPU strap. And a lot of people freak out when that happens. They're like, oh my God, you are doing a lot of damage to your computer. Your People started freaking out when I uh, commented about this here. I posted it on a photo. And I have come over here, guys. I have set this to manual mode and have done my changes and whatnot. But... I haven't had any luck setting my 3000 megahertz manual. I just haven't. I haven't been able to. I don't know why. But guys, if you are using more than 2600 megahertz, you're going to have to do this here. And the temperatures are going to rise up. You're going to have higher temperatures at idle mode. And if you know any fix on this, if you know a backdoor to set your, um, your RAM frequency with the overclock that you want, without touching, without changing the CPU strap, without touching the base clock frequency, uh, go ahead and leave it on the comments down below, guys. And now you can see right here, if I try to change this back to 100 megahertz, I have done it. I have spent hours and hours and hours and hours in here, and there is just no way around it. I haven't found any way around on YouTube. Like I said, guys, YouTubers out there, they're not talking to you guys about the base clock change and the CPU strap because pretty much it's kind of like no way around it with X99. And it's kind of ashamed. If you notice, if you watch my other overclocking videos uh, with the i7-6600K and the 6700K, you go ahead and turn on your, you know, you change your uh, multiplier and your... Um, you set your overclock to whatever you want it, and you change it, you set it, you turn on your XMP, set your speeds, and you are good to go. With X99, you hit a block wall with this here. I haven't been able to change it. 
I mean, you can change it, but you're not going to get paused. So that is uh, really frustrating that it's very annoying. But after that, guys, uh, we go ahead and click exit. We apply our settings, save changes and reset. See right here, we change uh, the base clock frequency, 125, the CPU strap, and the AI overclock from auto to XMP. We change this here. So we go ahead and exit, and let's hope that we get a boot. And let's hope for the best. Let's just hope for the best. Do, 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 do. I know that I'm going to get post, I know. Because I have done this overclock since January of 2015. I have been messing around with this overclock. And YouTubers out there, guys, they just do the simple overclock guide. But these guys are not talking to you guys about the problem here. About the embarrassment that the X99 platform, uh, when you do the XMP profile, is going to change your base clock and your CPU strap. So that is a shame. So after we get prompted into Windows, guys, go ahead and log in however you log in. And we come over here one more time to ADA64 just to verify my settings. Just to verify that I have a good overclock. So I come over here, turn on my... Get my uh, CPU ID and my system stability test. And as you can see right here, guys, let me see if I can show it to you. Let me see that. Now it's at 1500. And let me go ahead and run the stress test while I'm at it. See, 1500. Now on my, on my test in here, let me see here, just to show you that it's legit. I am stress testing the CPU, the FPU, the cache, and the system memory. My temperatures, they change a little bit. Okay, like I said, they're gonna change, they're gonna go higher. But I am already used to that. And take a look at that, guys. Now, we are at 1500. And you can see right there, guys, well, Creeper, it's supposed to be 3000. Well, remember, guys, that DDR, it's double data rate. So right here, it's actually pushing 1500 times double. 1500, 3000 megahertz. Guys, if you have any comments, if you have anything to say about the CPU strap change, about the base clock change, go ahead and leave it in the comment section, guys. Let's start a war about this here. Let's go ahead and, well, not really a war or fight. Let's go ahead and start the discussion about this here and, let, and let's compare settings and whatnot. Let's help each other. Because this right here, guys, like I said, I have had a very, very successful overclock uh, I have had my CPU, my i7 5820K, since December of last year. Of I mean, December of 2000, no, January of 2015. My, I'm sorry, it, it was close to Christmas. I got confused around there. And I have run this overclock. It has been stable. I, you know, do my gaming. I do videos, test comparisons and whatnot. And it's very, very stable. So for me, I am good to go with this overclock. Like I said, you might be on 4.4. 4.6 if you're lucky, 4.7 if you're a god. <laughs> I haven't been able to pass 4.5 in here, guys. That was just my silicon lottery with this CPU here. Some people haven't, like Kyle of uh, Bitwit or whatever, Asmus has network. He did uh, his overclock, he wasn't able to pass 4.4 stable. So I was, I feel lucky. Uh, Linus Tech Tips also was able to hit 4.5. But guys, if you want a video explaining about the CPU strap and whatnot, uh, Linus Tech Tips has a uh, tutorial as well here, but he doesn't really get deep into it. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope that it helped you a little bit. Uh, like I said, leave your comments down below. This was your host, Sergio. Yeah, Sergio. <laughs> I'm not getting used to my new name. <laughs> this was Tech Overclock. I'll see you guys next time.